Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to soften skin with usually a single click of your mouse using Lightroom Classic. I've actually done this video in the past, but it was a while ago, and I want to do this updated video using the latest version of Lightroom Classic. We're going to be doing this technique on a number of different models in different images. In every single case, the model skin really is fine, doesn't really need any skin softening. I'm just using these images for demonstration purposes. Now, this technique is done with the brush, so we're gonna open up the brush tool in the develop module, and you may or may not know that towards the top of the tool is a dropdown. If you click on that dropdown, you'll see a number of different brush presets. Towards the bottom, you'll find two brush presets for softening skin. One is called Soften Skin, and the other one is Soften Skin Light. Personally, I prefer to use Soften Skin Light, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use Soften Skin because it's a bit more heavier and obvious, and I think you'll better see what it does in this video. So when I choose that brush preset, a number of sliders move around. Just leave them alone, don't touch them. Now go towards the bottom of the brush dialog and make sure that you click Auto Mask so that is turned on. Make sure flow and density are at 100, and feathering doesn't matter at all, so it doesn't matter where you have that. Now what we want to do is we want to make this displayed image a little bit smaller. To do that, go over to the left panel towards the top in the navigator, and click on either 1 to 4, 1 to 8, or 1 to 16. In this case, I'll click on 1 to 8. And when I do that, you could see that it's a lot smaller. Now what we need to do is get a really large brush. You could change the size of your brush with your bracket keys. The right bracket key makes the brush larger. You also can make the brush larger with the slider. Or if you have a mouse with a center wheel or an Apple Magic Mouse like I do, just spin that wheel or drag your finger on the Apple Magic Mouse and get a larger brush. And what you want to do is you want that center circle to totally encompass all the skin you want to affect. In this case, I want to affect, of course, the skin on her face and the skin on her shoulders. So we're going to get a huge brush like that. Now you can see why feathering doesn't matter because feathering is the area between that center circle and the outer circle. And really that doesn't come into play at all. So it doesn't matter where you have feathering. Just make sure auto mask is on. Now pick a spot on her face, put that little plus sign over it and click once with the mouse. One click. I softened her skin. Now I'm going to turn the overlay on by hitting the O key on my keyboard and you'll see where it affected. Now you'll see my overlay is green. I actually have a video that uh, teaches you how to change the default red overlay in Lightroom to green. In the description below this video, I'll have a link to that video. If you'd like to change the color of your overlay, watch that video. Now that really is fine uh, as is. I'm gonna turn the overlay off. I'm gonna hit O again. I'm going to go back over here to fit and we'll go like that and I'll do a before after. There's before and there's after. There's before after. Now if needed you could further refine this. If you go down to where it says range mask and turn that to color and then get the eyedropper and click on her skin you'll further refine the mask. Now I'm going to hit the O key again to keep that overlay on and then if needed, you could take the slider and you can move it around to try to better affect the skin on her face. So there's one example. Let's do a couple others uh, with varying types of skin. Now, in this case here, we have really bright parts over here and then some darker parts over here. So we might need to use more than one click. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one to eight and I have the same settings, the soften skin drop down um, brush preset. Auto mask is on, density flow are at 100, and I have a brush that's big enough to encompass all the skin I want to affect, and I'll click once. And I'll just stay there for a minute and get the overlay, and you can see actually it did a pretty good job. Maybe I want to click a second time over here just to make sure it's all covered, and then hover over that um, button, and we could see our overlay, and you can see it did a really nice job. Now we're going to go to fit. Now, if it's affecting something accidentally that you don't want, like maybe her lips a little bit, then what you could do is you could go over here and click on the Erase tool. So right here, see it has brush A, B, and Erase. Click on Erase, 
and then get a brush that's the right size and you could remove it from there. I'll turn on the overlay again by hitting the O key and you can see what I mean. So you could remove it from wherever you it might be affecting that you don't want it to affect. So like that. So, But it's still a lot faster than just painting in the effect on the skin everywhere on their face and shoulders, in this case her hand, hands and so on. So we'll go to the next image. Here's another one. Again, auto mask is on. We're in the A brush. We have softened skin. We're going to go to one to eight. I'll just get a bigger brush so that center circle encompasses all our skin. Click once with the mouse. Hover over for a second. You can see it did a pretty good job. We'll go to fit. There's before and there's after. Before, after. Now we'll do one more just for fun and I'll go to one to eight again and I'll get a really big brush because this image has a little bit higher resolution. Make sure that I'm covering all her skin. Click once with the left mouse button. Hover over there and you can see little hot spots there so we might need to click again second time. And you can see it did a pretty good job. You see it's not affecting her lips, not affecting her eyes, not affecting the straps on her top that are going across her shoulders. You can see it's just affecting the skin on her face. We'll go up to fit, we'll get a smaller brush because that big one's just obnoxious. And then we'll do before, after, before, after. So in that case, I needed two clicks. So of these four images, two of them needed two clicks and, and two of them just needed a single click. But I think you'll agree that it's really a superior way to soften skin using Lightroom. It's very, very quick and easy to do. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.